to show you my version of croquetas. I'm going to make potato croquettes. This was one of my favorites when I was growing up. Let's get started. Potato croquettes. The ingredients are one kilo of potatoes, boiled and peeled, five teaspoons of chicken powder, one whole egg, three tablespoons of potato or cornstarch, two tablespoons of butter. For the breading, you need flour, eggs, and Japanese breadcrumbs. After you peel the potatoes, you can grate it or you can mash it. I find grating is more uniform because sometimes when you mash, there are portions you, cannot, you will miss when you mash. After you've grated the uh, potatoes, we're going to add in the egg, the chicken powder. If you don't have chicken powder, you can use salt and pepper, but I like the flavor of chicken powder. Then you have uh, potato or cornstarch. You can also add a little milk, but uh, you need to increase the starch. And then we have butter. And then you mix this by hand, you mash it. What I do if I make a lot, I use uh, my mixer, my KitchenAid mixer, because it mixes very well. It mashes the potatoes very smoothly. This one you can do by hand if you're not making a lot. Today we'll make plain potato croquettes, but you can also stuff them with chorizo. You cook chorizo and then you stuff it in the potato. Then you can call it a uh, chorizo croquette. All right, I think this is done. Let's start to mold this. Croquettes are traditionally made oblong shape. You can do this one by one, like this, but it's too tedious, so I'll show you a, an easier method. I divided the potatoes into two equal portions. This is about 530 grams each, or 525 and then well this is not the usual way you make croquettes but you know I try to find ways to make uh, the work easy for you let's do the next one by the way if your refrigerator space is uh, small you can just do half okay you can prepare this ahead of time and you can keep this in the freezer. I like to use cling wrap because it's easier to tighten. And then you roll it so that... And then you try to make a uniform uh, baston. And then we keep this in the freezer. After this is firm enough, we cut them into small pieces. Then we dip it in flour, eggs, breadcrumbs and fry. This will make your life so much easier, right? So let's put this in the freezer in the meantime. I have here two eggs. I'm going to add one fourth cup of water. All right. So let's cut this. All right, we will cut this. Depending on the size that you want to make, I'll cut them into one inch, maybe. Croquette okay, should look like this, right? So, what I do is I just pinch the ends a little bit. They look like football or egg shape. And then we dip them in flour, eggs, breadcrumbs the real croquetas the Spanish croquetas they are not made with potatoes they're made with a bechamel sauce they're more difficult to make because you have to keep the bechamel really really cool you get a smoother balls if you don't uh, if you don't use gloves all right flour you flour it first Okay. 
Okay, let's do 12 pieces before I start uh, frying. Alright, then I'm going to dip this in eggs. Alright, dip them in eggs. And then you have Japanese breadcrumbs. You don't really have to wear gloves because we're still going to fry this. Make sure you allow the egg to drip so that your breading will not be clumpy. By the way, for this recipe, one egg is enough, but sometimes it's difficult to roll it if there's only one egg. So you can use one egg with two tablespoons of water, right? So you don't have extra. Anyway, I can use the extra egg. When the oil is hot, you always I always use a cooking chopstick or a stick to move it around because it's more uh, gentle. Okay, when you cook croquetas, you have to cook it at a certain temperature because if it's too warm, what happens is uh, the croquetas will fall apart. Of course, if it's too hot, it's going to break. This is 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm doing uh, 12 pieces at a time. Okay, I think this is ready. You can take them out now. Yes, that's perfect. That's perfect. Very nice. I have here a thermometer, so I'm sure I'm able to maintain the temperature. I have many recipes to share with you. If you're interested, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded. We were able to make uh, 24 pieces from one kilo of potatoes. If you have kids, they will love this, I am sure. You can serve this with ketchup or a white sauce or sweet and sour sauce but I usually eat it as it is but most people like to eat them with, uh, with ketchup so try to maintain the temperature between 325 to 350 degrees so that your uh, croquetas will not fall apart because it has happened it will fall apart if you don't get it at the right temperature and then always keep it moving. As I said, use a cooking stick. This is a cooking chopstick. Keep it moving so the color is even. 